Love it. Um, yeah, what do we want to talk about today? You know, questions or talk, you, want me to, you want to talk a little bit about the environment right now and how it might affect our business and things like that? I would love to talk about that because there's a lot of fear right now and anxiety. And for the real estate wholesaler and for the salesperson, uh, the, the, the guy making the phone call looking for the deal, it, it can be, you know, in the back of your mind and eat it. Well, the future is cursed and, you know, talk, yeah. Clear this up for us if you can a little bit. Um, everybody is a little bit, um, no, everybody's a lot emotional right now. If you notice, um, so in, and in sales, you know, my million dollar rule, uh, people make decisions, sometimes bad decisions emotionally. They make decisions very quick emotionally. Um, you know, and we've made all made decisions sometimes uh, very quickly emotionally. But it, right now in this environment, we want to stay intellectual. We want to stay adult-like, non-emotional. And, you know, we're seeing everybody running out there and they're, they're waiting in line for hours. I, I, I had a phone call this morning with a fella. He was the first one in line at the Costco and the line went around the building. And then inside they had another line just for paper towels and water and paper. It's, it's a crazy world. Yeah. Everyone's wow. too emotional. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell everybody that everything's going to get better. You're going to have to give it, I say, 30, 60 days. Everything's going to calm down a lot, probably mm -hmm. in less time than that. But um, uh, we can't get caught up in it. Having said that, everybody is staying home. Kids are staying home. Companies, I just read this morning, my daughter works for Apple. Apple's closing all its stores for two weeks. Um, you know, just like the schools and things. Businesses are closing. I've been working at home for 32 years. So I've always been at home working. I've seen the transition of uh, the internet from uh, newspaper ads to internet, social media marketing. Uh, I see now the video we have, we're on Zoom right now. I've been using Zoom and Skype and FaceTime for years. So this is the, this is the exact time where everybody else is running around and being a little emotional. This is the exact time when you can learn to utilize this wonderful technology, make an awful lot of money by staying intellectual, learning new skills, being a better communicator, keeping you, when everybody else is going crazy, it's a chicken little world, it's a chicken little world right now. The sky is falling, okay? Um, but the thing about it is life still has to go on. People still need to buy and sell real estate. Nobody's, because of this virus, no one's going to stop eating. No one's going to stop right. um, living in a car. No one's going to live on the street, hopefully. Um, so life has to go on. We have to adapt to it. Use the technology yeah. Yeah. and become superb in your sales skills. Yeah. That's, the, that's the one thing. I wanted to open with something uplifting here. I don't know if that yeah. was it. But yeah, use the technology. Work from home. I love working from home. It's a, it's cleaner bathrooms and better coffee, yeah. man. It's that, great. That to suits work from me home. just fine. It suits me just fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stay so, home. So while everybody else is very nervous, very scared, there's a lot of fear going around. There's a lot of what we call in um, a, um, psychological trigger. There's a thing called conformity. Everybody wants to do what everybody else does. Get in line, waiting, get in line for stuff. And, and all. I mean, how many rolls of toilet? Why would toilet paper make your life better? I mean, how many rolls do you really need? <laughs> right. You know, the thing about it is, do you want to keep your business running? Do you want to be able to get on the phone and make offers to people? Do you think real estate is going to be a little bit easier to do right now in this oh, economy? I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. You know, I mean, we're looking for motivated sellers and there's, they're here. I feel like when things start going South, uh, this business only really starts getting better. It's right now. And that to, you know, um, shine a light on what a lot of people are going through and everything like that. People are scared. Restaurants, restaurants or businesses are hurting. Retail businesses are hurting very badly right now. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of people are being, um, I hope they're getting paid, but uh, we're, we're, the economy's suffering right now. Guess what happens to real estate when the economy starts uh, doing a little, we're in a recessionary period right now, whether you know it or not. It's temporary, but we're in a recession. What happens to real estate mm. in a recession? Hmm. Mm -hmm. we, okay. We've been in the, we've been in the seller's market for a long time. Mm. Okay. Guess what's, guess what just instantly happened with all this stuff that's going on yeah. right now. It, it, it's starting to, 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 to get cold. It's, it's or, starting to, it's starting to change. We're going to have more motivated sellers. 
Uh, we're going to have more flexibility in the marketplace. We're going to see prices, I predict, at least in the short term, we're going to see a little flexibility in prices finally. Wow, that's great news. Interest great rates news. are gone down. Yeah. Uh, the government's making loans. Um, yeah. you know, uh, we're going to see people who, um, you know, real estate's an illiquid commodity. It's hard to turn over fast sometimes, especially in this environment. Um, yeah. the, key, the key thing is you've got to be superb in sales. You've got to be able to get on the phone with no fear. Get on right. that phone and talk to people. I'm a, I, if nobody's heard of me before, um, I'm a sales trainer. I love real estate, but I think the big key is being superb in sales. And I, I think uh, I teach the gut sales method. Getting on the phone, being confident, asking questions, not reading, not give, using a script, not giving pre, a premature presentations, having nice conversations with people and making offers and closing, listen carefully, yeah. one phone call. Yeah. Ooh. I'm the only guy I think who teaches yeah. it other than Justin. Yeah. Yeah. One phone call. Hmm. I get on the phone with people. I always make... I'd say almost a hundred percent of the time, I always make an offer to people. I, and I beg them to say no to me. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I don't do this back and forth stuff. Oh, I'll think about it. Uh, I'll, I'll call, I'll send you some information. I'll do my due diligence. I'll call you in two weeks, man. I go for it. The pretty girl, the pretty girl, my wife, my, my, not my wife here. We're suffering. We're, we're suffering. We're celebrating. <laughs> what is it, honey? The 34th. <laughs> he said we're suffering. Huh? 34, 34 years. Okay. Very good. I got a pat on the back. Never forget your anniversary. Mm. March 29th, dear. Yeah, there wow. you go. You've known each other for 50 years. You know, did I kiss you on the first date? Yes, I did. I kissed you on the first date. Yes, I did. She won't tell the truth now. Absolutely. Okay. See, that, you, you went for it. In sales, you got to go for it. <laughs> you got guts. You went for it, man. You got to go for it. She could have slugged me, but she kissed me back. Thank you, dear. That's when you know. That's when you, you know. know. You get <laughs> We're in a sales business. We think, we think it's the strategies. We think it's the VAs, the acquisition managers, the CRMs, the postcards. Uh, right. The, uh, all of, it's about giving good phone, baby. Yeah. If you can give good phone, you get the one thing we all want in life. What is it? Freedom. I love it. it it's the truth. It's my truth. My hand on the Bible. I'm not yeah. here to sell anything. I'm not going to tell everybody to run to the back of the room and get, the price goes up on Friday. I'm just going to tell you that I have a great life. Justin has a great life because yeah. we give good. We know how to speak to people in a non-salesy, goofy way. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. That's, my, that's my mission, Justin. That's all yeah. I want to do is teach people that. Yeah. I love that. It's, and you, you, you've taught me a lot, sir. Th thank oh, you for thank that you. too. I, I know you're not going to tell people to run to the back of the room and then jack the price up on them. But what I'm going to do, I don't is have I'm to, <laughs> I, got every, I got everything. My, I got the best woman in the world. We've got our health. The, yeah. and the cable bill is paid. What else do you need? In life? I got some good beer in the fridge. What else do you need in life? I was going to say, don't run to the back of the room, but run to ClaudeDiamond.com, guys. I want to mention this before we get way deep into the into this, but ClaudeDiamond.com, and you can get a free book. If he didn't tell me I could do this, I'm just I'm just gonna take my own. <laughs> I've, I've written tons of books on uh, uh, lease purchasing, how to sell with guts. Yeah, uh, that was a good book. Here was my first book, The Mentor Teaches the Guts. Here's my new book. Everybody. Everybody, anybody who goes to yeah. anybody who goes to my web page or mm. sends me an email and says, I love Justin Chamness or I love Justin, you get a free yeah. book. Yeah. I love now, Justin. Yeah, we're not selling great. anything here. We're giving away. Oh my God, Mildred, he's giving the shit away for free. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why do I do that, by the way? I just did a little marketing maneuver here. Why, why do I do that? Why do I give stuff away for free when other when other other people are always trying to sell stuff? Why do I do that? Reciprocity. You're creating value so that you can expect something in exchange at some point. That's good. How about gaining nobody, someone who's never heard of me or has never listened to me. And maybe it says, hey, maybe this guy's got something. Uh, maybe I I'll laugh. Free book. What can it hurt? I'm a secret. I go, my marketing is based on one thing. I'm a secret. 
if I can break the barriers, if I can get people to listen to me, to watch my videos on YouTube, I have over a thousand, um, to read my books, some, th some magic happens sometimes because you gain credibility with people. But if you come out of the, if you're a bull in a China shop and say, trust me, trust me, give me your money, give me your house. Right. The barriers go up, don't they? Don't we all yeah. put up the force? What is yeah. that Star Trek force field called? Yeah. What did they call that in Star Trek? That that thing that protected uh, the ship. The shields up, right? Or something well, like that? Yeah, it was the shields. Yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> what, it's been a what, while. What does a prospect do when you call up and you sound like the typical goofy, just came from a stupid, a, a bad seminar, okay? And and you just and you just want to uh, you just want to. They're, you just want to do a deal and you're asking a lot of questions and the, what the prospect feels like you're trying to manipulate them or take some advantage of them. What does the prospect normally do? What would you do if the tables were turned? Uh, I, I would uh, turn tail and run. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 yeah. They put up the yeah. barrier, take yeah. me off your list. Don't ever call me again. Click. Send me some information. I'll think about it. I'll talk to my wife. Uh, call me in five weeks. Do you make money when that shit happens? Pardon my language. Do you make money when that stuff happens? No, no, not at all. No. How do it's we make scourged. money? Why am I? Why are we in business, Justin? To make money today. I'm in business to get contracts today, to make money today, to get commitment today, or get my ass fired today. I just, I want, I want momentum. If I talk to people every day, if I make, if I make offers every day, if I get on that phone as an authority figure, say, hey, Mr. Prospect, you got a problem. I'd like to help you solve it today. I'm an investor. I look for price or terms. Can we do a lease option, a subject to an owner finance? Tell me what, what, what would you like to see happen today, sir? I'll send you an offer and you can, and we'll talk again at 430 and you can say no to me if you like, or we can solve this problem today. What would you like to do next, sir? Right. Boom. Right. You know, we can't be, here's, I don't know if this is the topic you wanted to talk about here. It's yeah. your show. Oh, I'm sorry. Great. No, it's great. You got it's me great. at eight o'clock in the morning yeah. with my second cup of coffee, man. It's yeah. super. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. I, I just keep going with it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. We we actually are struggling a little bit here, man, and I apologize. Uh, technological problems. Oh, we we dropped the live stream somehow, so <laughs> it's just us in the Zoom room now. Oh, okay. And, uh, I see other I see other people. Yeah, there's other folks here in the Zoom room, but we're not we're not on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere anymore. I just oh, okay. discovered that, so my, I'm sorry if my mind was oh, on no, some other things we're briefly. Yeah, we're live on my end, and if anyone has a question and they want to put it in the chat box, I'd be glad to answer it yeah. or, or okay, anything great. like that. And I see Debbie's uh, on here. Uh, good morning, Debbie. My small town is running out of, out of everything. The, Debbie, as long as you got a, a couple Twinkies in the, in the Twinkies last forever, everybody, by the way, you know, they never, t I don't think there's an expiration date on Twinkies. So maybe that's the thing to die. And there's plenty of beer still. Nobody's buying the beer yet. So you can live on beer. <laughs> How long can you live on beer? Let's find uh, out. Uh, <laughs> it's a car, uh, and I drink Bud Light with lime, so I know I get my vitamin C in there too. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting carbs. I'm getting uh, I'm getting ascorbic acid. I'm getting liquids. You got to hydrate. Okay, so yeah. you know, put some pizza next to it or some pretzels. We'll survive. Everything will be fine. By the way, everything is going to be fine. It's going to take about, it's going to take 30 days or so. I kind of like the overreaction that I'm hearing from the politicians and stuff like that. They're going yeah. over the top because it's an election year. Thank yeah. God that if you want one bright light in this whole horrible virus, inter worldly international virus thing, thank God it happened during an election year. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because and when November comes around, everybody's going to say, what did you do to protect my family, to protect this country? And, you know, now we're yeah, going to see exactly. if we're going to see the, and did yeah. you notice the, did you notice what happened yesterday politically? The, the Republicans and the Democrats gate got together and signed that bill. Yeah. Right. That's going to put, they, how much I've been waiting. You, these guys can't even get the, they can't even fund highway repair, bridge repairs, but finally they got together and did something positive. I think that's, that, you know, I looked for the bright side on things. I'm that's sorry. True. That is so true. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's there's so much confusion and fear in in the air today, um, and I, I think you know it's it's easy to accept that as an excuse to not make phone calls. <laughs> I, I really think I heard a guy tell me the other day. He said, "You know, uh, you and me, we're going to be hanging out and uh, you know." just taking it easy for the next couple of months, it looks like. And I'm, I'm thinking you're crazy. If you think I'm doing that, I, I'm all about getting on the phone a, each and every day. And I, I only see the future getting bigger and brighter and better. And other people are ready to take time off. Like it's an excuse to, to not do what they need to do. Uh, if you that, know, um, I see, I see this, um, I see it as an opportunity to get things done. I'm going to finish writing a new book on Guts 2.0, my the new next evolutionary yeah. step in my sales system. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, allergies. Not, <laughs> not anything. They don't get in there. Here, wait a here. Wait a second. Let me. Let me you know, that's the sad part. Is is now everybody's so self conscious. Yeah, clean up the screen. It, it is. It is. We got. You know what's the one thing that I hope we get back in society? I hope we get back our sense of humor. I hope we I laugh see. at ourselves a little. Okay. It's a crazy world. It's a, you know, it, but let's get back our sense of humor. Let's, let's look at things. Things are going to get better. I've gone through nine 11, 2008 desert storm. We, every, every 10, 20 years, we have some kind of garbage thing happens. This is the, this is now unfortunately a pandemic thing that's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's going to go past. And while we're at home, for many of us who are going to be home, um, this is an opportunity to study, study sales. Get, yeah. The phones still work, by the way. The internet still works really well. The pandemic doesn't affect phones and the internet and computers. We can, we can make money at home, calling up people, doing contracts, showing people can show us the property. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Pro Seller, do you have an iPhone? Could you take me on a tour of your property? Show me what it looks like. If you want to sell it, to, I'll make you an offer today. If you can give me a video tour of your home, then I'm going to ask you some questions. You ask me some, and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to find out if we can do price or terms today. Right. Would you like to see that happen, Mr. Chamness? If I make you an offer today, would you consider it and tell me yes or no at the end of this conversation? Uh, well, I might have to talk to my, uh, my brother. He's an accountant. and uh, uh, I don't care if you talk to him. Can, does he have a telephone? Can you call him today and get back to me at 430 on video and tell me if I'm fired or if we can do if we can solve this problem and do business today? Can you do that for me, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. I'm sorry, yeah. what? Yes, I'd be happy okay, to do thank that. Thank you. Thank you. That's called reciprocity. I'll do something yeah. for you or I'll agree with you, but then I ask for something back that I really want. That's called negotiation. Yeah. You That's like this, Damon? Shake yeah. your head, Damon, Adam, Aden, Aiden. Is it A D A N? How do I pronounce your name? Aiden or Aden? Uh, yes, Aiden. Aiden. And, uh, yeah, I do like it. Okay, thank you. Good. Do we have any questions from anybody? I'd, I'd, I'd love to ask your questions or role play or. Anything I can do to help people. Um, I'm very, I can talk about real estate uh, and everything, but I think right now the most important thing is being superb in your communication skills, understand the psychology of why people buy. I think focusing on sales is the best thing you could do right now. It makes you, do you know what's great about sales, uh, Justin? It makes you feel when you, when it makes you feel confident. How important is it to feel confident, assertive, not a bully? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how, how important is it to feel good about yourself? When you get on that phone, are you going to be submissive and subservient and mousy? Right. And talk real slow. Oh, I'm sorry, right. Mr. Prospect. Oh, I'll do whatever you want, Mr. Prospect. Pee on my back and tell me it's raining, Mr. Prospect. Or are you going to be assertive and say, hey, buddy, yeah. you got a problem. I have solutions. Can we do business today or should I leave you alone? Right. I got, I got something I'd like to, to ask about and dive in. And it, it goes along with this. Um, but, you know, I hear people in the sales world and other real estate wholesalers and investors r talk about all the time about how when the right frame of mind is, is meet their need, uh, the seller's needs and what is the seller got to have. And, and this is really a service business and, and kind of putting the, the homeowner and like a, and like up on a pedestal uh, and, and something about that feels right 
but then something about it kind of doesn't feel right too all at the same time because it's not really all just about them. Well, you know, people always ask me, gee, why are you in business? I'm in business. Uh, you know, oh, I, I remember once I had a speaking engagement. This will kind of answer what you were just uh, saying. I was speaking in front of a very large real estate club, six, 700 people. And there was a lady in the front row. Front row people, and when you're public speaking, front row people are always the most dangerous, okay? Should never take a question from someone in the front row, but I did. And the lady says, Mr. Diamond, I came here. I got into real estate because I will, you know, all you talk about is money, 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 making money. And everything. I got into real estate because I want to help people. You know, and I said, "Ma'am, that's the sickest. Right. Thing. That's the sickest friggin' thing I've ever heard in my life." Right. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm here to help people. I'm here to serve people, and that's maybe true to an extent. I, but I am in business to do business honestly, ethically. But why are we really, I'm in business to put mac and cheese and Bud Light Lime in my freezer, in my refrigerator. I'm in business to make money today, man. If yeah. I can do it honestly, health, ethically, if I can help people solve their problems, amen, brother. But, you know, let's right. not forget, why are we in business? Right. Why are we in business? To make money. To make today. money today. Make money today. Can I have an amen from the audience, please? <laughs> amen. Okay. Yeah. Because when you make money. And you can, and you have, free, you have this wonderful thing called freedom. Thank, thank you, Charles. I got an amen from Charles. Okay. And that's the truth. And that's the truth of the matter. But you, what, your question, I digressed. I always do. Sorry, Justin. The thing about it is you got to learn to read people. We have different people. See, that's why I hate scripts. Scripts are caca. You, I always say right. this. Scripts are crap. You know why? We're dealing with a multitude of personalities out there. How can one script one presentation deal with all those different personalities i because a doctor when a, when someone walks into a doctor's office does uh, he or she say get on the table let's operate no he's <coughs> excuse me he's got to ask questions he's got to diagnostic he's got to find out what's your needs why are we talking today right. where does it hurt when did it start hurting did it hurt your mother and father what do you do for a living do you lift bricks or lift the pencil you, you got to find out stuff so the way we have to we we have to do what any good professional does. We say we're professionals, but very few people actually sell like one. I'll say, Mr. Mm. Prospect, mm. you want to buy a home, sell a home, and invest a home? Do you mind if I ask a few questions, and and then I'll offer a I'll make an offer to you a, uh, with maybe a couple solutions, and you can say yes or no. You can fire me, or we can maybe we can discuss it and do business. Is that all right with you, Mr. Chamness? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. What, sir? I couldn't quite hear you. Absolutely. Okay. Boom. I'm trying to get you up the yes ladder too. Mm. All the things that I'm doing here are a cocktail mix. There's no one thing. There's several different psychological triggers that I use in the way I, I, I first of all, I use a system uh, of an agenda, then qualification, then close. And I learn how to ask questions with redirection reverse psychology justin you wouldn't want to justin you wouldn't want to sign a contract today if i could give you the price you want right that's not that's not what you're looking for is it oh i think i would i'm so, oh really yeah oh yeah. okay then maybe that's what we should talk about giving you the price you want can you be flexible enough to give me terms could we do a lease purchase then uh, i'll give you suppose i just pretend for a moment i was going to give you your price and, but I would ask you if I could rent your house for three years, take care of it, pay you on time scrupulously, save you 6% real estate commission, and, uh, and, and, and save you a management company and everything else. And we can do business. Imagine you go to your lovely bride tonight and you say, honey, our problems are over. How would you feel about <laughs> that, sir? I don't know if that's what you're looking for. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I love it. You've heard me. Now you've heard the master here, okay? It, 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 so you can hear him in me, but at the same time, now you're looking at the full, <laughs> the full, uh, you know, ooh, what is it, chutzpah or whatever. What's the word? Chutzpah, unmitigate, <laughs> unmitigated uh, gall. Ball, uh, ball, uh, ball. Um, uh, um, um, my, 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 my Spanish friends, carjones. Yeah. Yeah. Guts. Yeah. yeah. It's called guts for a reason. Great, untraditional, unorthodox techniques of sales and success. That's a long mnemonic. Yeah. But 
the thing about it is if you practice sales every day, if you study sales, a lot of you guys are going to be home now. Read books on sales. Watch videos on sale. Absolutely. Okay. Study yeah. and, and get on that phone. All you have to do is understand why people would, why, how do you get people to say yes? I ask one question of myself every day. How do I get somebody to say yes? How do I get somebody to buy from me or do business with me? What is, what is, what is the personality? What is the, what are, what are the traits what, that I have to do to get somebody to, to want to do business with me today? Or say it's over. I'm, I think I'm the only sales trainer in the world who tells people, please fire me. Okay, Donald Trump used to have that TV show, you're fired. I beg yeah. people to fire me. Yeah. Please fire me. Because yeah. I don't want to waste a minute of God-given life wasting my time. We waste too much time. We run around, we, we do all this due diligence. We, we're up till 12 o'clock at night writing contracts and everything. And then the person goes on the witness protection program. That's not yeah. fun. I hate that. I hate I, that. Yes. I hear that all the time out of students too, you know, uh, got a deal and, and we celebrate and I ring the cowbell over here and, and then, and then three days later, I don't hear anything and, I, and I'll follow up with my student and I'll say, Hey, well, I'm just checking on you. You know, how'd that deal turn out? Oh, well, I ain't heard back and I don't, you know, so I guess they just flew the coop and uh, man, I get so tired of hearing that. It, it's, and it, it, you have to, you have to accept the responsibility that there are no bad prospects. There's only crummy salespeople. My mentor used to use another, wow. the S word when he said that. Okay. Wow. We, they were, when the prospect, <laughs> uh, see the prospect, uh, when the prospect expects, when the prospect doesn't trust you, they manipulate you. They like, uh, this would be shocking to some of you, but some prospects lie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they do that as their defense mechanism because they want to pick your brain. They want to get information and use it to beat up your competition or somebody else they're going to talk to. Okay. Yeah. And if they don't trust you, don't like you and find that you're just a, a, a you, you know, what's the word they use? You're just a bottom feeder. I've, you're, you're the 10th guy who's called me today. Say, so, no, sir. I, you know, I'm, I want to do business with you, but I think you owe me an apology first here. I, I've got a check and a contract in front of me here. I don't think I'm going to sign it today. You know, boom, right. I fire them sometimes. Right. You've right. got to learn to read people and come across as a professional, as a respected authority. If yeah. you go to people subservient, submissive, okay, like a beggar. Oh, I'll do whatever you want, Mr. Prospect. Oh, it's okay. No, that's, that's not the way to do business because you're just going to get frustrated and manipulated and lied to all the time. You've got to go into it with a system. Are we connected? I got an unstable warning before there. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. You got to, you've got to know what questions to ask. You've got to have a system. You've got to understand the psychology. Empathy is one of my favorite words. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? How would yeah. you feel if you were trying to buy or sell a home? You were in their position. And accordingly, you have to ask questions. How do you get good at this stuff? You practice, you study. I practice with my students every day. Every day, I practice every day. I'll talk to a Walmart greeter for five minutes. Right. You know, hey, what's it like out there? What's it like right now when you have no toilet paper or paper towels? Or you, what's it like in a store like this that people are waiting in line? You know, I'll, I'll just, I'll go to the Starbucks uh, barista. I'll, I'll engage people and try to get them talking. That's sales. Get them comfortable. Get them giving you information. Getting them up, uh, getting commitments from them. And then finding out, is there a way you can do business with them today? Right. And, you know, and, go ahead. people don't believe me when I say this, but you make it sound like this is as easy as getting someone to talk to, like we could call it a lead, and then just giving good phone. And that's really about the sum of the whole thing. Um, you remember the first, uh, the best analogy I can give is the first time you drove a car, you were 16, 17, 18, you got in front of a, you got in a car, it was very mechanical, it was strange, okay, uh, I had to learn with a stick shift, okay, and that extra pedal, the clutch, uh, okay, the old, yeah. okay, you, and you get the first time you get on a highway, and it's all this traffic and everything, you're all, you're, you're white knuckling the steering wheel here and everything, <laughs> right. and you're dropping the, okay, and then, 
um, maybe a couple weeks later, a couple months later, or today, you get in that car, it's auto. Do you think even about it? It's so automatic, right? right? Sales can be the exact same way. After a while, when you repeat, when you do something, anything you want to get good at, you practice every day, you study it every day, mm. you, get it in, you get into a routine. The repetition is what makes you comfortable on the phone. Yeah. When you're comfortable on the phone, you make, can I use bad language or is this a family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, when you get good on the phone, you make a shitload of money. Yeah. Man, it's so true. It, yeah. So it's, what? It's all about sales, man. It's a, if, I, if everybody here just leaves with that one message, work on your communication, on your psychology of persuasion and influence, build up your confidence, learn a sales system so that you can just get on. If you talk to a couple people every day, you know, Justin, I, I have people say, oh, I made hundreds of phone calls and everything. How much money did you make? Oh, nothing. If you could make, <laughs> you know, if you could make a few quality phone calls and speak to people, not call people, speak to people. Mark my words here, ladies and gentlemen. If you can speak to a three, four, five people a day, and and, yeah. start, and, yeah. and and make offers every day. Guess what magic happens? You make a lot of money because you're consistent in your behavior. And what is and what is it that other, you want that other people? What do you want people to think about Justin Chamness when when you when they get off the phone with you, Justin? I want to say I like that guy. He was a righteous dude. He was a good guy. <laughs> he, he knew what he was talking about. He's a little full of himself. He talks uh, a little bit too much, but I like him. I'm a righteous dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, the, oh, uh, the big Lebowski, remember? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the dude that abides. What? That's West Coast stuff coming out, right? That's this one. I, I love a few movies. One of them is the big Lebowski, Groundhog, yeah. Groundhog Day, um animal house <laughs> classics yeah. i love the classics okay and i think Those we we got to turn by the way a little word of advice to everybody turn off the news don't watch the news anymore exactly and and watch a good old fun movie right right that's some good stuff those are good movies. The Big Lebowski. That's a great one. I, I love that. What are that? There's so many classic. Oh, I saw Jerry Maguire the other day. Oh yeah, show me the money. Yeah, you had me when you you had me when you said hello. Show yeah. me the money. Show me the Quan. <laughs> That's great. I love I love the lot. There's more good lines in the um in the uh in that movie than any other movie. <laughs> Jerry Maguire. Uh, that is a good one. It, it, I, it I, is. I always catch myself referring to Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I love Glenn Glary getting more. <laughs> yeah, second, yeah. Sec, second place is steak knives. Third, pri third place, you're fired. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, first place was a Cadillac Eldorado. That's what you get for giving good phone. Put you down the, that coffee. Coffee is for closers. Right. It's a classic. A lot of sound bites out of there. Yeah. I love I love Alec Baldwin and who how many stars are in that movie? I know we're digressing. Oh here. gosh. Everybody, everybody. Everybody that's in it. Al Pacino. Kevin uh, Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Uh, Alec Baldwin. Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon. Um oh my Ed god. Harris. Harris, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's an it's an amazing it's a it's not what I'd call a family movie or anything. I think there I think it, <laughs> it has the record for more expletive deletives than any of them. <laughs> but every one of them is worth it. Pure oh, gold. Yeah. <laughs> Pure gold. Uh, Can I take any questions or or anything from anybody? Hey, Clark. Yes. Uh, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted Good to say thank you. I just want to say sorry real quick because uh, I've been really quiet. It's pretty early over here, and I had a rough night last night. Uh, or a long night, but um. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, so, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> can, I, can I get one of those tissues, please? Mind if I get one of those? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm making fun. I'm sorry, Adam. Where do you live? Uh, Sacramento, California. Okay, I'm down here in San Diego. Is it dark and rainy there too? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, we're all rich. We're getting rain here. It's weird. What was your question? I'm sorry. We were having fun. I just there. wanted to know if you could uh, maybe show us a little bit of how you sounded like when you first started on the phone. I sounded like a jerk. Oh, like, really? 
what is the typical what is the typical 99 and 9 tenths percent of salespeople do the exact same thing they use the same words they use the same script they, they they're still teaching to ask for the order these some of these old school sales training companies yeah. they're saying ask for the order five times what happens Aiden? Aiden, when you get a sales guy who keeps asking you, well, the price goes up on Friday, Aiden, and Aiden, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, do you want it in blue or white? Uh, you, when, when they do these tricky, old-fashioned maneuvers on you, what, what do you do? How do you react? I'm tired of it. I, I try to think of ways how I can get off the phone. Yeah. We reject them all day long, right? So why yeah. do something, why, why do behavior that gets you 100% rejection? And that's what I used to do. I used to do the script. I, I worked for a Fortune 500 company. They gave me a three-inch book full of scripts, okay? And, and, I, and I used to use the scripts, and then I'd get tongue-tied. Uh, uh, oh, wait, that's uh, – hold on, Mr. Prospect. That's on page 84. Oh, shit. What was that? Did you, oh. you mean your prospect didn't have a copy of the script so he could follow along? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> so when I first got started, I was nervous. Um, I had all these things rumbling in my head. I had all this confusing, confusing things in my head. I was tongue tied. I was, I, the worst thing was I was subservient and submissive to the prospect. Do you want to go to, would, if I told you to go to a lawyer, you say you had a legal issue and the, and you came into the lawyer's office and he said, wow, uh, Aiden, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can keep you out of jail or get the IRS off your back. I've never done this before. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Is that the guy you want to give a lot of money to? No. No. What do you want that lawyer to sound like? Like an expert. You know what, Aiden? We're going to fix this problem. I have a lot of experience with it. I work with people who have even more experience with it. We're going to take good care of you. We're going to return phone calls, and we're going to make this. Uh, we're going to do our best to make this thing go away. Do you feel good about that? Can we move forward? Can we take care of this problem today so you can sleep at night, so your wife can relax at night? Can we can we do that, or should I leave you alone? Right. Oh, we're gonna good. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna be good. Uh, no, we're gonna take care of you. We're gonna get the stress, leave your body, your body. We're gonna help. help we're gonna help you get out of the situation. Do you think we can do that? We want to do that. Can we move forward today? Something like that. Um, yeah, um, wow, you move fast, Aiden. Um, um, I think so. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Um, well, um, I, I've never done business. We just met and everything. Do you have any references or anything like that? Yeah, sure. I, I got all the references in the world. How many references do you need? Um, I, uh, could I have one or two? I just, uh, I think I'd feel a little bit better about, you know, this is a big commitment for me and no offense or anything. We just met. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, if, if I can get these references over to you, I'm gonna just, I just need your email and I'll, I'm gonna send them over to you. I'm gonna get this get this ready for you. And if I can get them over to you, team, we can move forward today. Well, you know, I, I, yeah, I'll call them and, um, you know, I'll do my best. Okay, uh, yeah, no, sounds good. Uh, so, so you need no, two references. No, 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 time uh, out. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, who's in control? I'm I'm manipulating you right now, and you're doing all the work. Okay, now you draw a line in the sand. Say, look, Claude, you let's reverse. Can we reverse the role, Aiden? Is that all right? Yeah. Aiden, thank you for asking me for references. You're right. We don't know each other, and I wish we did because then you know that when I, I my word is my bond. But good for you for asking. You want how many references would you like? Uh, two. Two? Now, I'm going to give you five, maybe seven. No, can I give you 10 references? I'll email them to you right now. You call up these people. If they vow, when you call them up today and they vouch for my veracity, what happens when we speak at 4.30 today? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, Wait a second. You're making me give, I get, take the good time of these people. You ask for references. Um, I want to do business with you. But well, what's the, well, what's the, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, no, no. Uh, well, well, yeah, no. I mean, if you give me this reference, I, I'll talk to him and I confirm that you are who you say you are, then yeah, yeah, I'd like to do business with you. You like or would? I, I would do business with you. I'm sorry, what? I would do business with you. Okay. So at 430, when we speak today, you can either fire me or we're going to move forward on this transaction. Is that fair? Sounds, sounds fair to me. 
Sounds fair to me too. You're a gentleman, sir. Thank you. I know I was a little tough on you, but I want to make sure we're on the same page. I hope you don't mind me being so honest and direct with you. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, thank you. Boom. That's gut selling. Good. Nice job. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Aiden, you just oh, good man. You just got to role play with the world's greatest. So uh, uh, how cool! And hey, and brass balls is what that took. Guts. <laughs> Remember Alex Baldwin pulls out of the suit. Yeah, Glen Glory, Glen Ross. <laughs> That's what it takes. <laughs> brass balls. I've been looking for a set of brass balls on Amazon or eBay or anywhere I can find them, and man, they just don't exist like what he had. Because I want to, I want to pull that out and show people. Well, I know what to get you for Christmas now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If you can get me, a, get me a pair of brass balls, I'll be happy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's not that I, and, and I don't want to bully people. I don't want to overpower them or intimidate them. I want to let them know that I'm a, I do business honestly. I'm busy. I am success. I'm playing a role right now. It, it, let, me, let me get a little, can I do a little psychological babble here, Justin? Yeah. Are you going to hypnotize us? Uh, maybe. I, I actually have been already. Oh. You just you see, you didn't even know it. The way I use my words, the way I paint pictures in your mind, you have been hypnotized already. Yeah. Did you know that? You know what we're going to have for, you know what I'm having for dinner tonight? Mm. We're, we're, we're having pizza uh, from this one pizzeria. It is the most, it's full. It's got that crispy, cr uh, crunchy crust and it's full of cheese and vegetables and everything. And when you bite into it, the hot cheese melts in your mouth and the, the, cr and the crunch of the uh, crust and everything. And then I'll drink, uh, I'll have a little glass of nice wine with it. And oh, it, it's so satisfying. It's so delicious. What's, what's in everybody's mind right now? Unless you don't like pizza. <laughs> Oh, yeah, getting some lunch or something sometime soon. <laughs> exactly. Everybody, how many people are going to have pizza with me tonight, right? Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. But the psychobabble, the psychology is that we have an inner and an outer salesperson. Okay, it's called role versus identity. Boy, I'm giving away too much stuff here today, Justin. No, oh, I love it. It's, it's what we wanted. <laughs> the thing the thing about it is role versus identity my identity adam aiden asked a great question he says what was it like for you when you first got started aiden uh inside my identity i, I oh, was a, just a little shy kid honestly okay and guess what that shy kid manifested himself externally that was the role i played on a one through ten ten meaning i was confident one meaning i was you know, had a blanket yeah. over my head, sucking my thumb. I was probably a three or a four. I went, I, I, I played a role because my identity was very insecure. And I'd play this role. Oh, they're not going to like me. They're not going to buy from me. Uh, why am I even doing this? Okay. So you have to build up your identity and you have to say to yourself, you know what? I'm a good person. I do business honestly and ethically. I have a, I have a right to be paid for my time, knowledge, and energy. You've got to be your own cheerleader so that that identity manifests itself to your role, the outside, the way you play. So even if inside you feel like a five or a six, on the outside, you have to sound like a nine or a 10. I told you I'd be psycho babbling here, Justin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Shake your head. Was that good stuff? Yeah, that's good. Tone. Yeah. Posture. All, all that comes into play, even though it's a phone call. Yeah. And when you're talking about, uh, you brought up hypnosis before. There's something, um, uh, Dr. Milton Erickson, if you ever want to study about what we call stealth or conversational hypnosis. And I'm not talking about a watch or brass balls in your case, Justin, right. uh, spit in front of somebody. And I'm not talking about turning people into chickens. I'm, turning, I'm talking about using my words and my enunciation. And you see my hands here. I use my hands uh, to show enthusiasm. And I lean forward sometimes so people yeah. can see my eyes. That's why video so, and if I use the right words the right way with the right posture and everything that you just said, Justin, yeah. I can paint a picture in someone's mind temporarily and i can get them to say wow i want that slice of pizza tonight we're having yeah. pizza dear yeah, I know. <laughs> my wife just came in Th this is the thing can we use say we need a system we need to learn how to ask questions and use the right words at the right time 
and we have to and we have to play a role even if inside we're insecure and shy deep down inside of me is a six-year-old with a blanket a flashlight stuck in his thumb I, i'm telling you he comes out every now and then i've been beating this kid down and back get, go back down inside i don't want you to come out today you're not allowed to come out today i gotta make money i gotta keep this woman happy for another 34 years okay and yeah. So we can't, we, and I'm not trying to confuse people, but who, would he, who do we want to, the prospect, I'm always empathetic. What is, what is the role we have to play to a prospect when we're cold calling or returning a call? What, what kind of person do you think they want to do business with? An expert. What else? Give me more. Uh. Why, Aiden, I don't know if this will work. I've never done a lease purchase before. I'll have to do my due diligence. And uh, can I call you back on uh, like Monday or Tuesday and I'll do some checking and, uh, you know, and I think we, I, I, I think we can put some people in your house. I don't know if they're paying on time or. Well, know. what is it exactly that, that you're worried about? Um, well, gee, are they, you know, how do I know they're not going to tear up my house? I'm I'm sorry. You don't. You're worried about somebody tearing up your house. You have tenants in there already. They, you, no, you said no, that you, they, you called me. You said you want to lease purchase my house. I'm just making up the role play here, Aiden. I'm sorry. Um, you said you want to lease purchase my house, and you're not going to live in it. Uh, how do I know the people you're going to put in there are going to take care of my my home? It was my grandma's home. Well, you know, well, sir. How do you know that the the people that you that you're going to put in there is not going to ruin it? Okay. Off the role play, I want you to acknowledge my question and say, I want you to give me something we call, what do we call this, Justin? Uh, a stroke. S stroke. I want you to give me a compliment. And, okay, <laughs> you almost so you, had me. You, you went, I, I gave you a, um, a stall or an objection, but was that question reasonable, uh, uh, Aiden? Yes. You have to acknowledge, you know, Claude, that's a fair question. If I was in your shoes, if that was my grandma's house, I'd want to protect it too. So you see, instead of you saying, you attacked me kind of said, well, how do you know you're good? The people you put in that house aren't going to trash it right away. Is that going to bring us closer together or further apart? Yeah, further whoa, apart. Whoa, whoa, sure. put, put your brass balls away for a second. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much, un you have to understand the behavior of people when you're when when you sell when you're communicating with i want you to sound completely different i want you to just ah breathe in that good oxygen it's still it's still available here virus free <laughs> oxygen okay and i want you to relax and be confident and say and give me a stroke and then nurture me do you understand a nurture is is kind of when you make me emotional and you say you know what Claude, that's a good question. I, I feel I would feel the same way. You, you know, you're a good man. You want that's your grandma's home. You're showing respect to it and everything. I respect. You know what? Can I work with you and maybe subject to your approval the people wow. we put in your house so that when you meet with them, and I'll do the credit check, I'll do the contracts, I'll do everything. If we can work together today, and I can find you good people who will pay you on time and take care of grandma's house and even do the minor repairs, you wouldn't want to move forward and make a commitment today, would you? Okay. And y'all think um, I y'all think I'm smooth. Wow. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd love to do business with you, Claude. Once you put it like that, all my worries go away. Okay, let's reverse. Let now you do it once, okay? I want to uh, use this okay. as a, this is fun. This is a, yeah. I hope this is okay, Justin. I love workshop. Oh right. gosh, it's super good. This is everything I wanted and more. Okay. Thank you, sir. In fact, let's let's um let Aiden let's now you do what you just learned. I'm going to give you that objection. You stroke me, then nurture me, then close me, just like I do. <laughs> I closed you with a negative redirection, by the way. You wouldn't want to do business today, would you? Why do I go negative? Where, yeah. where's, the, where's the pendulum go? If I go hard right. negative, what's the, only th what's the only other direction right. that pendulum can go? Right. He's going to pull you the other direction. What did Sir pull Isaac you. Newton say? Things in motion stay in? Motion. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Things like that. Good stuff today. Gosh. Uh, let's go back in the role play with my buddy, Aiden. Aiden, you know, you sound like a good guy and everything, but this is my grandma's home. How do I know these people you're going to put in? Uh, they're going to pay me on time. They're going to, this is grandma's home. How do you know they're not going to trash it? Uh, you know, well, Claude, 
that that's a great question that's a great question indeed i you know i i see where you're coming from if it was if it was my grandma's house i'd probably be feeling the same way um you know i just wanted that you know i just want to let you know that if if we could be able to maybe put a situation where we put you know the people that i bring in um can help you out you know and 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 actually you meet with them and make sure that you know that they're going to help you out i want to make sure you're comfortable with this and um and if we could if we can make sure that they give you the deposit for you know non-refundable and we make sure that they can take care of, of the maintenance for you um and of course you're going to be overseeing everything this is something that you're going to be in complete control of uh, i i really like to help you out with this if we could do that do you think you, you wouldn't you don't think we'd be able to move forward with that today, do you? I, I, I think we could. Yeah. Yeah, I th we could. Let's, you know what? I've made a decision. Let's just do this. You're right. Let's just, uh, you're a good guy. I, uh, you know what? I feel completely different about you. Let, let's just do this. Boom. Give him a round of yeah. applause. Yeah. Good job, Aiden. Good job. See how, yeah. see how different you sounded from yeah. what you sounded like this time, Aiden, as opposed to <laughs> yeah. l last time? Night and day. This is going yeah. to be a good training video for you guys who yeah. want to really get a super, be su superb in sales. Even in a few minutes, Aiden went from an amateur to a gut salesman in just a few minutes, my exactly. God. If you can sound like that on the phone all the time, Aiden, you know what's the beauty of this is that we can be totally, what's the one word all you great millennials use all the time? Transparent, epic, uh, authentic and everything. Why don't we Righteous. Do Righteous, you know, righteous. righteous dude, <laughs> why don't we, why don't we just do that? Why don't we just do that? Let's stop the silly selling and let's talk to people the way we want to be spoken to. Even if they say no, I beg people, right. please say no, please fire me. Right. I don't want to, what is the difference between a millionaire? Okay. And I learned this thought from my, my, my mentor was a millionaire when I didn't have two nickels to rub together. What is the difference between a millionaire and a guy who's just struggles and is broke his whole life. What is the difference? God gives everyone 24 hours. We all have the same relative IQ. What is the difference between a, a millionaire salesman and everybody else? Why do some uh, people- focused, focused on making money? The, I think the millionaire, uh, I think, what do you think, Justin, before I answer that? Uh, he, he knows how to use his words like tools, like a mechanic's tools to create emotion inside the people that he's doing business with. Right. He works smarter. He studies sales incessantly and he puts a value on his time. We waste time. Millionaires. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is where I disagree with uh, some of the other gurus out there. Um, they say, be patient, be patient. Patient is bullshit. It's today, man. We're going to get hit by a meteor or something. Yeah. Go for it today. If someone wow. has a problem, they want to solve it today. Don't be so patient. Go for it. Draw a line in the sand. Uh, Say, look, if you don't want to do business with me, you're saying uh, you want to think great. about it. You want to call your attorney. You want me to call you back in two weeks. Why don't we just say no? It's over, sir. I have plenty of business. I have other people mm -hmm. to speak to. I want, you know, your problem is going to still remain, though. Wouldn't you, rather, wouldn't you yeah. love to go to and meet with your significant other tonight at the dinner table? Say, honey, I met a good guy. We did a contract, the property. We bought a home. We sold a home. We invested in a home. Everything is groovy. Can I still use the word groovy? Is that all right? <laughs> it's Damon, righteous, is that yeah. a, Damon, you're my young guy in the audience. Can I, still, can I use that word? <laughs> what, what, honey? That's not, millennial. That's not a millennial word. I'm bringing uh, groovy back, okay? Uh, Here we go. Peace, love. I got it. <laughs> um, I, I I almost had a religious experience while you were saying that. I mean, it is it, like that. What you've been talking about the last two minutes is uh, real good, real real good. Thank you. Let's see. Do we have any questions or anything in the chat box there? Great job, Aiden. Hey, the audience. Lo Aaron loves you, man. He said you did a great job. His heart is pounding. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Anybody yeah. else? Damon, Damon, my 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 main man over there. Unmute yourself. You're too quiet. Hey, Claude. Hey, we haven't. Uh, can you tell I've had two cups of coffee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any any good take? Any good take? Damon is in uh, beautiful Louisiana, right? Yes. How are things down in Louisiana? Is everybody going hysterical there too? Yep. 
just like everywhere else. Okay, you're not. There's no. Lo, there's no hoarding on Boudin, is there? Or trait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that I know of. Okay. Are, all, are the are the restaurants empty? All those magnificent Cajun restaurants in Louisiana, New Orleans. Uh, notice I said it right. Not New Orleans, New Orleans, right? Um, oh, are the restaurants empty down there too? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really uh, checked to see. Okay. I'm not sure. Aaron says Tampa's going nuts over the toilet issue. <laughs> Here you, you know. go. Here you go, Aaron. Here you go. I'll make you. I'll. 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 Um. Instead of money, uh, option. Mo instead of ten thousand dollars option <laughs> money, I'll give you three months of toilet paper. <laughs> That's a great deal. deal. If we'd have, if we'd have only known a few months ago, we could have got a big semi trailer full of toilet paper. We 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 just go door to door selling toilet paper and and kill it. Well, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, well you know, I'm having a special right now. Uh, matter of fact, uh, but the price question. But the Germex, they you charge by the squirt, right? <laughs> Did you hear about there was one kid in the U, in the UK? I think he's in elementary school. He got suspended. He was charging oh, his yeah. fellow classmates a dollar a squirt or a pound. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> they suspended hey, the kid. I give him a medal for being creative. That's, sounds like me almost. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if you had a lemonade stand outside? You know, a lemonade stand outside, and you were sell and you were selling toilet paper today. Oh, by the by the sheet by the sheet by the way, not the roll. <laughs> hey, hey, oh Clark, my can you gosh! Me? You got to have at least five or six sheets. You can't you can't go in shallow like that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, I I have to get go. I have to get going. Um, uh, if you have a last question or anything before I go, uh, everybody here gets a free book if they want. Uh, they just yeah. have to go to ClaudeDiamond.com and and just say uh, uh, just say that uh, I love Justin and you get a free book there. There's a little a button there that says um, free book and you'll see a little uh, memo there with your e for your email and you say I love Justin and boom I'm going to send you a digital copy of my new book saved you 35 bucks. Cool. Yeah, it's a great I, I, book you, too. I got a quick question. Can you can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Hello? Go ahead. Okay. Um yeah, yeah, uh Cla thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Um my I just want to ask you a quick question about uh your guts 2.0 message. Is, is there any way I know you had got to go, but is there any way you can you can share maybe something from your guts uh, 2.0? Um real good question. Thank you for asking. Uh, Guts 2.0, I've learned a lot about sales and I, I originally my intent was to teach what I learned from my mentor about learning to ask questions and I wanted to put it in a three-step system, which is a, a, what original Guts was about. Uh, agenda, qualification, commitment, close. Three little steps on a staircase and how to ask questions and how to sound a, a little bit different than traditional sales guys. Over the years, I've learned that there's many other techniques um, to get, uh, I've, I've been a big student, a fan of um, the psychological triggers. What is what, reciprocity, scarcity, um, uh, social proof, um, environment. There are different ways to get people comfortable, to get commitment, to get information from them. There's different ways of telling stories that where you can blend in the five senses. You, I did that with the, uh, with yeah. the pizza before. There's a different way. I want everybody when they leave here today to think about P uh, maybe what we've talked about today. Think about getting my free book on ClaudeDiamond.com or think about having pizza tonight. Can I casual, can I put, can I utilize casual hypnosis? P painting pictures in people's minds, suggestions that goes to their subconscious so that I'm not just another number, okay? I'm not just another sheet of toilet paper. I'm someone they remember. I've implanted something in their mind. Did you ever have a song in your head that you couldn't stop singing or humming all day uh, long? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's coming yeah. from your subconscious to your conscious. We can do that in sales by learning how to use the right words and the, with the right sentence structure and the right enunciation. Sometimes we talk soft. Sometimes we talk loud. Sometimes we uh, put enthusiasm. Sometimes we yeah. use humor. Sometimes it's guts 2.0 is taking all the different. How do people buy? How do people breathe? And guts 2.0 is taking you to the next level so that you have great conversations with people. You protect yourself at the same time. 
and you get more people to say, wow, I like Aiden, I like Damon, I like Justin, I like Rocky, I like these people, I wanna do business with these people. Yeah. I want you to sound different. I want you to create memories in people's imagination in their mind. Right. So that regardless of whether, so you get more yeses, you get more positive conversations. What happens when you have a lot of good conversations with people using Guts 2.0? Yeah. You make the next phone call and the one after that. But if you're, having, if you're getting brutalized all day long and manipulated and hangups and, and lied to and everything, do you want to make another phone call? No. No. So we've got to change it. Guts 2.0 is taking sales to the next evolutionary step. Wow. It's about Thank having you, hypnot it's about basically having hypnotic sales ability. Making yourself so confident and looking people right in the eye and putting images and ideas and solutions in their head so that they say to themselves, this makes sense. Where do I yeah. sign? Yeah. That's yeah. most people most people communicate right here on this level. He's talking about communicating up here on this level. <laughs> Like yeah. super good. Hey, I, God, God bless you. Uh, God Claude. Bless I love you. you. Man. <laughs> you will have pizza tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having. It was steak, a lot but... of fun. Thank you, everybody, for inviting yeah. me. This was great. Yeah. I hope I didn't talk too much. No, no, you didn't. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, you know, I've got a little playlist I've started called "Moments with the Mentor," and and that's all about you. So hey, thanks for these gold nuggets. We mm -hmm. cherish them. We're going to watch a replay. I know I'm going to, uh, if I can find it. I know I've had some technological problems, so maybe send me the link or something. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. This was hey, great. Justin, thank you, sir. Great. Thank you for hosting these informative podcasts. Let's give Justin a round of applause. It takes a little hey. work to put this together. Hey. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Justin. We're really good, man. Thank, thank you, everybody. You. Keep smiling. Don't worry. Everything is going to get better. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be all right. And yes. uh, give good phone. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 You too.